In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 2 from Experience 12. Test the claim that the mean GPA of night students is larger than 3 at the 0 0.025 significance level. You can tell from the statement that we are testing the mean, so the Greek letter mu should show up in our hypotheses. This limits us to choices 2, 3, and 5. They all feature the number 3, which is mentioned, but the only one that goes along with the statement is larger than 3 would be answer choice 5, where the alternative hypothesis is mean larger than or greater than 3. The direction of that inequality sign points to the right, so this is a right-tailed test. To calculate the p-value, we use technology. From the graphing calculator, hit stat, tests, and go down to Oh, sorry. Go to z-test at the very top. Now, the mean tests can use a z-test or a t-test. The same rules for confidence intervals apply. If you're given the uh, population standard deviation, then you would use the z-test. If you're given the sample standard deviation, then you would do a t-test. And uh, we're told here the sample standard deviation. Right, it says the sample mean was 3.04 with a standard deviation of 0.04. So this would be a t-test. We don't have data to put in, rather we have summary statistics. So hit stats. This first value mu naught is the number that shows up in the hypotheses on the right hand side, and that's 3. Your sample mean there, x bar, is 3.04. The standard deviation for the sample is 0.04. And the sample size is 55. Make sure to change the alternative hypothesis to the right tailed case. And then hit calculate. So the p value to two decimal places is technically zero, right? It's so small. When p is less than alpha, then we reject the null hypothesis. And alpha here is small, but not that small. So p value less than the level of significance, sorry, significance level. Using Excel, we can put in the three and the sample mean is the 3.04 sample size is 55 oh this is the z test d test three sample mean 3.04 sample size is 55 standard deviation 0.04 And this is the worksheet that's available in the resources menu, by the way. Um, and it's a right-tailed test, so you can see there is the same p-value we had calculated through the calculator. All right, so again, we reject.